Okay, so what I want to do first is turn off that shuffling. So up here under uh, the display, we see that our answers are shuffling. Now the answers, right, if I jump over here to slide view, the answers are right here, the choices. And what's happening is these are shuffling around, right? They're just shuffling between uh, the different uh, three different places. But my background, my choice background holder is uh, persistent, right? So the, the video conference graphic isn't really attached to the choice. So what happens is the video, graph, video conference may end up here over to the Skype graphic and so on. So I just want to turn off the shuffling in this example. We do that by uh, staying in forum view and then just changing answers to none to turn that off. Now the next thing I want to do is actually bring the feedback choices or uh, get the feedback choice options that we have down here for uh, each of these choices. And we, add, we did add some custom feedback, right, for why each one was correct or incorrect. Well, now we want to take it a step farther and actually get uh, these choices up here for um, each of the actual choices. And we do that by changing feedback from question to answer. And check that out. Right? So our feedback disappeared down here, but we now have the more uh, options, the more button here to give us the options for branching. So let's select this first one, right, for video conference. And now we can actually branch the video conference choice to the video conference feedback slide. Select the drop down menu, and we come right here and select video conference. And go ahead and click OK. Now let's do the same thing for Skype and teleconference. So this time we'll point the Skype to the Skype feedback slide and click OK. And then for more. So for this final one teleconference, I want to send the learner to the teleconference feedback slide and click OK. And then you can see the branching icon is now uh, placed beside the more button to indicate that there's actually branching associated with each of those uh, choices. OK, so now we're going to save and close. And the next thing we want to do is actually come into each of the feedback slides and set those up so that when the learner clicks the next button, they actually jump to the new question slide and they don't just cycle through uh, this, the subsequent uh, feedback slides in that same question group. So let's go ahead and just double click the video conference. And same thing, we'll just come down here to the more button. And we don't have to do anything uh, different up top like we did in the uh, menu bar. Uh, we're actually just going to click the more button down here and let's go ahead and just branch this to the new question. Let me move this up to make sure you can see it. So here's the new question group and click OK and save and close. Same thing for Skype and come down here to the more button and what we want to do is just send that also to the question. So these are all going to go to the same place. Click OK. Now, what I also could do is actually just jump to the next question. So there's a little shortcut, a little production tip here. Uh, I could close out of here like I did before, right? Save and close, and then double click the next slide to open it. Well, if I'm in a big hurry, and I usually am, I just click the A button up here and choose Edit Next Question, and that takes me right here to teleconference. You can even see that it highlights it here in the background. So just a little shortcut uh, for getting from one slide to the next. And we'll go ahead and change teleconference here also to go to question two. Click OK. And let's save and close. So at this point, we should be looking pretty good. Let's go ahead and preview our file and see how it looks. So go ahead and put preview. So here's our question. Make one choice. And we can see that each of these uh, choices now is actually static. It's actually on the correct graphic. So let's go ahead and just start top to bottom. Video conference. Submit. We should see the video conference slide indicates that it's incorrect. Correct choice is Skype. And of course, the teleconference option is now uh, de-emphasized or faded out. Now, when I click Next, I should see that we're actually on question two and not the Skype feedback slide. And there's my new question, question two. At this point, the last step really is just to clean up our, uh, our player, right? We want to maybe customize the colors up here, customize the title and maybe, depending on what you want, uh, remove the hover state, right? Maybe just make the hover uh, a graphic, hover, hover color right here uh, white so it actually blends in with the background graphics. Uh, so let's go ahead and just do that in our next movie.